part of my coming to Utah was to build not only a regional program but a national program and our first step in that was becoming the lead center and the lead investigator on a randomized study that's throughout the country and the four other sites are all well-known medical centers and our goal is to work with as many of those groups that lets everyone else in the country also locally know that we truly have a great program and part of that is even in our patient recruitment our first patient in the trial actually came from the southeast he came from Alabama to here. to here. And what we're doing with the trial is we're every other patient. One patient is local, the other patient is out of state. Because uh, we've had a great response and a lot of our patients already know of the type of programs I can create and the people I work with around the country. So they actually go out of their way and actually fly out here and the people are great and the patients have had excellent care and they go back and tell their referring doctors, which actually can potentially help build a lot of our other programs. Is there a particular type of heart problem you're dealing, looking at in this trial, or does it, does it run the range? Our main focus of this trial is congestive heart failure, or dilated cardiomyopathy. So these are the patients who have weakened hearts due to either multiple heart attacks, which is the ischemic heart failure, or the non-ischemic heart failure. So these are patients who've either had a viral cardiomyopathy, uh, postpartum cardiomyopathy after many years, or just idiopathic unknown causes of heart failure. These are medically stable patients, so they've been living with heart failure for many years. And their only other option is heart transplant, and some of them don't have that option either. So this is, in some cases, their last effort at getting any type of treatment.